Well, I didn't want to come here with a lot of tools, unnecessary tools. So of course I screwed up and didn't bring some tools that I really should have. I didn't bring my saw, or my, my hacksaw. Uh, that being said, what I want to do is trim these off. So when I pour the concrete, you know, I know what level. So what I'm going to do, very nice knife. I've already used the uh, saw today, but what I'm going to do is mark and cut that in there. So I have a mark on the inside that I can see. And I didn't bring much of anything. I don't know why, but this here, maybe some of you know what this is. It's when you put in a pole, you can level it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this uh, small piece of two by four and I'm going to level it inside. So I'm gonna line it up to that cut I just made and I'll level it so I know where to cut the next one. Should be right there. Ugh. Oh, that would have sucked. I would have dropped that down in there. There. Now I have a spot where I know I can fill up the cement. And I'm good to go. Okay. I want to show you how this is all going to work. Uh, this is a base for my 6x6 inch by 12 feet long um, I let's call it a, a subfloor joist maybe and what it's going to do this is going to sit into the wet concrete this here and when it dries I mean it's it's rock it's not going to move the six by six will fit directly in here just like that and then there's holes six holes to put um, your your nails in and that will will connect it to the concrete pillars. Now in the center where the two 12 foot ones come together I'm gonna to have to situate it so the end is dead center. Um, if you can see it something like this. So up roughly about three inches or so goes in and then the other one goes in and I nail those two together. Uh, and that will keep it in the center and then there's a, another one that goes halfway down and then over on the other end. And this holds it all down. So when a big storm comes, it has to rip it off of here. My whole house has to be ripped off of the cement pillars. And the actually, if a tornado comes, this connected to the cement pillars will probably be the only thing left. <laughs> the rest of the house may be gone. And that, that's how it's going to work. I got this reusable concrete mixing bag. I did this in hopes that it would make my job easier. What you do is you put this whole bag over top of say a 50 pound bag of concrete mix. You pour water, the, the correct amount of water. You seal it up on top and then you mix it inside the bag. Then you grab the bag and you should be able to pour it directly into the tube. And it saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and it's supposedly very quick. And a lot easier. And I'm all about easy. So we'll see how this works. Just so I uh, knew what I was doing, I went ahead and used this on the first one. And it was amazing. It was so quick, so easy. This is going to make my life during this process a lot simpler. Let me show you how it works. So, you do a bag of concrete and you open it up here. You 
can put the bag over top. But since I have some concrete in there, it's kind of wet. I'm going to be a little careful. I don't want it going everywhere. Now I got 50 pound bags. It doesn't feel like 50 pounds. It feels lighter, but it's early in the day. And the instruction says to put five, five pints in. I believe, hopefully, there's, this is a quart. Is it a quart? Two quarts, I believe there's two pints to a quart. So I would need three quarts, right? Now I may have mentioned I had to bring my own water and I'll show you the setup in a minute, but there it is. Now it comes with a tie. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I got uh, five quarts in there, or pints, sorry, pints. And all you do is mix it up a little bit. Get the dry spots out. And then, it already looks like it's done. It's already mixed. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm thinking I might even be adding a little too much water. And, uh, you know, I didn't get dirty either. All right, so I already poured one in. I'll get this one. I'm thinking probably the best thing to do is to put this end inside and then pour. Okay guys, that's easy. I thought this was going to be the hardest job. Now it looks like just freaking digging holes was the hard job. Okay, I'm thinking it's too wet though. I mean, it really seems wet. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit, I think. Yeah, 